Hello, welcome to the Anatomy of Hello Heart. We discuss everything about the Pinoy rom-com by dissecting the episodes of Hello Heart, a mini-series starring Gerald Anderson and Gigi Galana, co-produced by ABS-CBN Entertainment and IGE, a video platform streaming in 191 territories worldwide. I'm Raz, the insider and director of Hello Heart. Every week, I bring together three of my closest and oldest friends to hear their unforgiving views and give unfiltered answers to all their questions about the latest episode, minus the spoilers. Say hello to Jason. He is our expert. He has watched every Pinoy film shown in the cinema since 1986. Say hello to Mel, our wannabe producer. She is a fiercely competitive trivia quiz champ with a subscription to every streaming service I know. And finally, say hello to John Ray, the outsider. He has lived overseas since 2005 and has watched a total of zero Pinoy films since. Alright, so I'm recording. So, we're online. We're not live <laughs> Oh my god, this is so fun. Is it just me or Raz's video has yeah. stopped? So, habang wala si Raz, pag-usapan natin siya. Okay, so, <laughs> it, so na-ambush. Sinabi niya yesterday, this will just be audio only. Hindi ka na! Alam ko na it's video! I didn't know. Akala ko talaga audio. Hindi ko alam na pwede. Hindi pwede mag-change ng background. Kaya ang gulo-gulo ng background ko. Ayan. May podcast face ako. Recording ba? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I gathered you guys, like I said, so so we can talk about um, the things that we talk about in Viber anyway. But this time, since I have a thing out right now, it would be good to actually talk about that. So uh, before that, we, let's introduce ourselves. Para naman, we have an idea who everyone is in this group. So Mel, can you start? Yes. Hi, Jason. Hi, John Ray. Uh, I'm Mel. I'm Raz. What do you do, Mel? I'm Raz's friend since grade four. Yes. yes. Uh, I'm a lawyer by profession, but uh, in reality, I want to be a movie producer. <laughs> yes. Yes. And this is our gateway to Forever. it. <laughs> oh, not this up. 4A kami ni Mel. Si Mel ba? Old friend ko dito. No, 2E tayo, tapos inabandon mo kami. Yes. 2E? Wait, Raz, kaklase kita nung grade 2? Oo, magkaklase tayo nung grade 2, tapos umalis siya. So this is John Ray. Nalala ko si Mel. Okay. Our second panelist. <laughs> Our panelist. <laughs> John, you introduce yourself <laughs> since you've, you've charged into our conversation. Go ahead. Uh, I'm John Ray, based in Singapore. Uh, I wow. work as like an, a numbers geek. Uh, working in analytics, soon moving to Germany. Yes, so, I like watching movies, but I don't like I don't watch a lot of local content. Obviously, because I don't live in the Philippines. So, like I told Raz, I'm gonna be here to, from the perspective of, of someone who doesn't watch uh, a lot of local stuff. I mean, local meaning like Philippine stuff. <laughs> and then Jason, of course, mm-hmm. our our last our last member of the Wow panel. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> I'm Jason. I <laughs> I work in operations for a computer coding company in the US. But I'm based in the Philippines because I love the Philippines. And then um I I I love films, especially Pinoy films. I, I watch all Pinoy films. The worse they are, the better for me. So I was the one who forced everyone here i'm not sure if everyone but mel for sure to watch um sumigaw ka hanggang gusto mo and it's a classic so and i was traumatized I loved that movie she was traumatized for life she didn't watch another pinoy film for Oy, another decade after I, didn't that. Watch an- I didn't watch another pinoy horror film after <laughs> so and Jason does it, no? i'm a feeling uh, film critic according there. to all of the so <laughs> Okay, so thank you guys for agreeing to to join me in this. Let's talk about the project that we're talking about. No? Uh, so this is Hello Heart. This is a mini-series that's produced by ABS-CBN Entertainment. 
um, but it's released on IQ, which is a streaming platform in uh, from from China, available in 191 countries. It's the first time that they're producing local content. Uh, although they already have a few local titles, eh, wako kung meron na kayong nakita nyo na, na download yun na. But they, actually, they carry some GMA shows already. So, Hello Heart is the first Filipino series on there, is it? It's the second. The first one is Saying Goodbye. It's also, uh, like I said, it's also produced by ABS-CBN Entertainment. But it's produced by the business unit of uh, Sir Deo Edrenal, which is Dreamscape Entertainment. And it's starring a younger love team, see si Andrea Brillantes and Seth Fedelin. So, Jason, what do you know about these two young couple? Ay, couple. Uh, oh, ano love team. Well, they're popularly known as Seth Drea. <laughs> <laughs> Their love team was formed in... Kadena ng ginto, right? PBB ba yan? Yes. Well, Seth uh, was part of PBB, um, but he was introduced in Kadena ng ginto as the love team of Andrea Brillantes. And then with um, Francine and Kyle, huh, with the Kaisin love team, they formed the Gold Squad. <laughs> so this is why we need Jason in this uh, in this panel. <laughs> So we can do that now. So I can, I, we can get on to watching the first part of the the first half of the first episode. Okay. So um, so we can all go on IG and watch uh, the first half, and then we can get back and discuss that first. Okay, 
Yan na lang kaya. Garage. Yan na lang kaya. Ito na lang. Kaya. Opo, direct. Oh, bilisan. Kabilis. Ano? Yan na lang. Kuya. Ito po. Kaganyan na.
Rolling. 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 5, 42. Action. Mamita. Here we go. This is your favorite. Prince. First of all. Let's see. Happy? Finally. I want, I want a record of John Ray's <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's the first half of the first episode of Hello Heart. The episode is called She's So Lucky. So, so how'd you find that setup? Ako, what I liked about yung initial, because um, in rom-coms, diba, we usually have this trope na as soon as they see each other, there's an initial attraction. And it, it's usually the girl who immediately falls for the guy. Um, and with this one, parang hindi siya agad yung na starstruck kay, kay Sol. Um, so I, I really like that part. Um, and, and just quickly going back to, to Gigi, um, you know, I, I like that she can act. I I know her nga from her viral video. So when I saw the trailer that she'll be the lead here, I was very doubtful na parang, can she do it? Considering that this will be her first lead role. Um, so I was really surprised um, because she had that charm. Eh. Um, she was quirky. But she can act. You can see naman if somebody's struggling, di ba? Uh, especially during yung mga quiet moments, yung mga dramatic scenes, uh, and she did really well. So did you did you have to coach her, Raz, or did that all come naturally with her? No, actually, it, it, it's it's a, it's actually a good jump off point. Nga, uh, talking about because uh, especially this is the first minutes of the entire series. No? On the one hand, I agree with you, Jason. Like um, yun nga, the charm is really what Gigi has. Eh? Like when you watch all the videos, talagang it's inherent. But the thing is, when you start doing na yung Ito kasi narrative na, diba? There's a story, there's a character that you need to embody. It gets difficult kasi nagkakaroon na ng similarities to her own person and di- differences to her own person. And so, how to manage it too. I did, I really, uh, I had to to guide her a lot. But we are lucky because we had the, the Star Creatives was supportive. We had GG do Zoom workshops with uh, with uh, an instructor. Um, but even when we got to the ano, with, when we got to the taping, we had to find what will work best for her, kasi, diba? And every actor has their own process. Eh? Like some actors, they will just they they they're just going to read the character, uh, uh, understand fully who the character is and then they can access the right emotions na. Some naman, they need to, I need to kind of access my own experience to kind of con- connect to it. And with Gigi, we we had to find what's working for her. So she needed to be guided a lot. Plus, I think the biggest challenge is when you're new as Gigi is, 
um, you're not used to the pressure of being in a set. And then, of course, each actor would have their own pace and so how it affects her. And so we're lucky that the entire the entire uh, production, especially the co-actors, are all very supportive. So lalo na when we got to like really emotional parts, hindi kasing bilis as how other actors would. No? So I needed to guide her on how to get there and how to stay there. And I think yun yung dun nagmamanifest yung pagiging bago niya. Like holding on to that and having the consistency of when you're doing, especially in film, but even here on in television, repeated takes eh. But um, to, to Jason's point, I think meron, meron na kasi, may mga iba kasi talaga na they, they can't bring them, themselves to be like, to, to go to that emotion. They don't have the courage to kind of like go to certain emotions. You know, not to diss anyone. I have no one in mind naman. Pero like yung, those actors, certain actors don't have access to like really more complicated emotions. So pag ganon, there's no faking it. If they can't understand, what are you saying? What do you mean that the character is undergoing this? Wala, hindi mo talaga makukuha yun. Kung baga, the role is much deeper or beyond what they're capable of embodying. Raz, do they have like uh, chemistry reading with between the two of them? Well, sa, in, sa initial, I wouldn't say wala, pero it wasn't, it wasn't how it looks now. Kumbaga, parang like, si, si, kasi parang it really, it's like, you know, it's like plucking someone from, from nowhere and sige nga, try mong umarte. So parang wala siyang consciousness of how do I make it, ano, diba? Or what's chemistry or what's compatibility and what's all of that. Merong times, maraming times in fact, for the entire series, na kind I had to remind her to kind of like, relish the the moment because that's the part where it's going to be killing for us watching them but she responds well to instruction and i think uh what i was successful in doing was having uh, gaining her trust so that like parang tipong she wasn't awkward most times and she she was able to kind of like just go with if i tell her to do this or parang if i tell her na be more like this um she, it doesn't intimidate her. Because that could be intimidating eh, when you tell someone, gawin pong mas ganito, gawin pong mas ganito. So for a new a new actress, it could go, oh my God, I'm not doing enough. Or oh my God, I don't I don't know how to do it. She might overthink it. But I think we, we established a good rapport that she ended up enjoying the process. And that's why we, we see a lot of it na parang it comes off really natural for her. I think it also helped na si Gerald kasi it's easy to pair with other actresses. Is it? Like, how? Like, if you would look you at yung filmography niya. Yeah, like... I'm not being, ano, <laughs> <laughs> asking. I love it. I love it. I love it. Walk out, walk out number one. <laughs> from, ano pa, a popster to. Hindi ko alam ba ito pa si Gerald. If you would Spirits Oy, films uh, talaga. They said, hindi, hindi na taalam ni Jadre kung, si, kung ano ang popster. Hindi, alam ko, alam ko. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse wow. me. <laughs> I can accept yung KGG, pero yung popster is excuse me. <laughs> 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 si Jadre has been paid, di ba, with other actresses na hindi naman niya talaga love team like si RC and he did really well dun sa Always Be, Always Be My Maybe. Um, yeah. Sino pa? Si Julia. Uh, I think right. uh, maganda yung uh, combination nila dun between maybes. Um, and then yun nga, si Nabea, si Sarah, si Kim. Memorize lahat yung nakapart. Oo nga eh. Um, <laughs> Nag-review ka ba? Si Gerald kasi is not the best actor. <laughs> and I'm being nice. Pero may times talaga in movies na kikiligin ka as kikiligin ka as a viewer kahit kanino siya ma-pair parang kaya niyang ma-develop ma- yung yung uh, moments na ganun with any right. actress well at least with the ones that he has worked so far and I think yeah. uh, that's the same here although I if you just watch the first 19 minutes uh, hindi pa ganun ka apparent pero with the if you would watch the entire episode may mga scenes talaga doon na um, ma-feel mo I mean it's not uh, sobrang strong as yung mga developed love, love teams like Bea, John Lloyd, diba? Na magkasama lang sa isang scene, uh, kikirigin ka na eh. Ito, dinidevelop rin. And it's also part of the plot, diba? 
uh, he's supposed to be the serious one. Yung um, medyo trope, pero something that I think will be discussed further naman sa, sa buong series. Uh, yung usually serious one. Very reminiscent nga nung kay John Lo. May Guy Montenegro, di ba? Na uh, uh, businessman, successful businessman, tapos uh, serious. And then may quirky na, na girl na magpo-fall for, for that person. So, parang a very special love, which is also similar, di ba, yung poster, a very special Mer- love. Meron na bang, ano, like, like the opposite, na parang you had a super serious girl, and then, but you had the, uh, I don't know, carefree, quirky guy naman that was paired up with her. Hmm. Ako, ako, wala akong, wala akong maala. My lady boss, no, just kidding. Hindi ko alam. <laughs> si Marian yun, hindi alam, no? Si <laughs> si Tony Gonzaga yung successful na businesswoman tapos si Coco yeah. Martin yung ano no, but even if he's successful businesswoman kasi yung character niya is not naman stiff uh oh um, right 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 although in terms of yun yeah role reversal yun yung closest siguro pero usually with star cinema movies it's always a guy na serious tapos ma change sa end parang ganun i'm not saying that's what will happen sa series pero diba with most yeah. star cinema movies that's how it goes na there will always be this hindi naman siya manic pixie dream girl role talaga eh pero parang similar raz on that good thing you mentioned kasi on the first 19 minutes um i watched kasi the trailers before actually watching the first the first episode. So yung napansin ko, um, what I liked about the first half is parang ang dami na kagad nangyari. And I was thinking, halos lahat ata nang nakita ko sa trailer, nakita ko na here. Alam mo naman ako, pet peeve ko talaga yung sobrang extended introduction episodes, which is one of my biggest pet peeves nga sa some of the K-dramas that I've seen. So yung format na eight episodes, I think, would be appealing to people like me who don't have really the patience or the time right. to watch a long series. And na-appreciate ko yung fact siya in, in one episode lang. In fact, I've seen most of what's in the trailer in the first episode, as I mentioned. Inisip ko tuloy, ano pa ang mangyayari in the next <laughs> seven episodes? Kasi mm-hmm. I, I've seen what's in the trailer already. So, for which, me, that's Which is good. One. Yes, yes. Teka, meron lang akong gripe sa, sa beginning. Minor gripe. Hala, <laughs> ayan na, ayan na. <laughs> then, then, then. So, yung scene ako saan yung parang may, ano ba, parang negosyante conference or whatever, di ba, na nagsasalita right. si Gerald. Yeah. But I just found it a little unrealistic na he was a little adversarial or parang unfriendly to right. Gigi, right? Kasi usually when you have those conferences, the, the speakers should be nice. Right. right. Especially... Kahit pa siguro sabihin natin na yun nga medyo stiff and siguro parang masungit talaga si Gerald. Normally, you would have a different persona on stage in that kind of situation. So parang bakit? I mean, maybe I'm thinking siguro it's just the, ano ba, the convenience na parang just to show very quickly na ganitong klaseng tao si Gerald. I just didn't think that maybe that was the right setting to kind of show that. Kasi to, to me, it looked a little unrealistic. It's funny because that scene sa lagay na yan, I softened up na yan. Gerald and I actually had a long discussion on that. Na parang like, I was telling him to smile more. I was telling him to kind of like, you know, mas, mas, mas malambot ng ponte yung atake niya. Because he was really very serious and he was really like characterizing it that way. But actually, tama rin lahat ng nasabi mo. You hit it right on the head when you said na parang it's really like a matter of the characterization eh makikita mo na parang within the little space of time um, you needed to kind of like tell the people who we're dealing with and what that person is but you're also correct um, nasa writing din siya eh. um, meaning how to credibly do that but then supposedly isa sa mga previous drafts meron pa yung may kausap siya they were closing a deal this is like a, 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 an old respected uh, tycoon and yet he was really like supposedly emotionless, um, not necessarily disrespectful, pero like tipong cutthroat. So that when you get there, dapat hindi surprising and hindi awkward na, wow, in a public setting, you could be embarrassing this girl, unsuspecting girl, na wala namang ginawa, papaupo pa nga lang, kinawag mo na, tapos, tapos pinahiya mo pa. So there. Okay, so we can I guess we can proceed to the to the next half of of the story. So this one we can watch all the way up till the end and then we can pick up and continue our discussion. All right, let's do this. Oh, 
So unromantic. Ayan, so beautiful. Ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Ayan, tama yan. And then, yung isang tray of... Uh, Mic testing. Yes. Mic testing. Okay? Tama! Okay, ready? Ready! Quiet sa hallway! Take tayo! Roll cameras! Rolling! 5, 4, 3, 2! Pilig-pilig ng bye! Back and action!
So, welcome back. That's uh, that's the end of the first episode. <laughs> In fairness, parang nakakahook naman siya. Parang gusto ko tuloy malaman si si Evelyn. Bakit sila <laughs> okay. kasi mahal na mahal ni Mamita? <laughs> that's the sick clue naman. According to what? Hindi eh, ka na nanood kung, kung sinabi ko sa'yo kung ano, kung ano mo nangyari, di ba? No, but the Evelyn is the, well, Rafael, right? Um, yes. No, Rafael. No, asawa niya yung Rafael. No, no, I mean, ni Celeste Ligas. Ah, na Celeste, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes, ano yes. niya, daughter-in-law. Daughter-in-law, oh. Uh, pero hindi natin alam ko sino yung artista na magkakaroon. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> bilang, bilang excited kang malamat kung, <laughs> kung, kung magkakamio ba yan or hindi. Mga asawa. 
<laughs> oh my god, ang hirap. Ang hirap i-navigate. <laughs> so, from 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 what we watched in the first half, how did that go for you guys? Especially you, John, because you haven't seen the entire episode mm. um, until today. And I, I think definitely yung second half maybe established a lot more things to look forward to. Right. Siguro yung parang like first half was talaga totally intro na parang wala pang masyadong okay, tapos. Pero no, yung second half na parang okay, now we know what's at stake. And yung, like I said, parang actually, yeah, I'm very interested to know what's gonna okay. happen. Raz, may, may, what, may difference ba ng atake knowing that this would air on streaming versus yung dati, of course, yung traditional broadcast media natin? Or wala? Same lang? The short answer is no. We still got to do it according to how I'd like to do it. I was able to, for this particular project, I was able to to direct it, compose my shots more filmically because it's a mini series as opposed to the fast paced. Because uh, my usual, my my show talaga na for the longest time is MMK, right? And I get a little bit more freedom here uh, because mas maraming ang chances na bumalik sa location na yon, I have time. But of course, time is always against us. Even when I was doing uh, Soldier's Heart, uh, which is another uh, teleserie, uh, I usually shoot on zoom lenses for those projects because it's more convenient. But for this particular project, I was able to shoot on prime lenses. So, mas filmic yung ganon. But unlike a one-camera setup for film, I had two cameras and at times I even had three cameras. Which we tried to we we opted to do that to compensate for the short filming time. Kasi. Raz, you see now when they were on the piano, yeah, yung one one five five six six five. It's just so <laughs> strange. Na, I mean, yung the piano notes that were playing was that live or parang was added post prod? Because it's like, tama naman yung key. It's just a third above. Nung kinak actually na kinakanta ni nilang dalawa. So parang <laughs> Tama naman yung 115566 nila. Magkaiba lang ng key pareho yung nasa yung naririnig sa piano compared sa kinakanta nila. Sabi ko na eh, lagot tayo. Lagot tayo. Lagot si Gigi sa sa mga music parts. <laughs> no, um but you know, I mean, obviously you would be able to catch that obviously, but you're right that uh, um the the scoring that was actually a broken piano. <laughs> that was a broken piano. Uh, lang namin yun. So, you must narinig mo na like they're hitting, yung hinihit na niya na, wank, wank, wank. yun yung real to uh, the piano na yun. So, the the one one five five notes, kaya if you notice, wala akong close up because pag kin-close up mo yung keys nun, literal na sira-sira siya. Uh, but yes, it was post-production. So strange. Parang, that would have been so weird like uh, like for yeah. example if if she had to do it like like the piano was actually playing let's say talagang to and then right see oh, wait, wait, easier if the piano was playing me and then she was singing from do right she was singing perfectly the right solfage oh, oh, oh. Nah, a different key actually ang hirap nun. right so, right I mean, kasama namin si Celeste Legazmi, so well, siguro si Celeste Legazmi yung magkakaisa ka niya. But it was just like very, very strange. Like, okay. But yes, you're right. It was in post-production na. So scoring na lang. <laughs> Will we see more of them singing ba? Siyempre, hindi mo masasagot. Kasi um, one of the things I like... Yung teacher, di ba may karaoke? Yeah, in the preview, oh. di ba? Oh. Pero kasi, di ba, uh, like si Gigi nga is a singer. So uh, maganda na hindi siya, hindi singer yung role niya. Pero right. they were able to utilize yung voice niya. Like, yun nga, yung, kinanta niya yung star ng Pasko, which was a, right. yun, yun sa first part. Which was, a, uh, was that part of the script ba? Or dinagdag na lang after? Was that the actual song na pinili? The song that we were that we wanted to use is oh my gosh, um, you light up my life was the original. Because mm. the candles, you you light up my uh, life, you give me, and uh, then um, because of the denial of the franchise, because <laughs> 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 budget namin, um, we we had to re- resort to choosing songs from the Star Magic, uh, sorry, Star Records star Record. catalog. Mm-hmm. But originally it was um, you you light up my life, and then we had to choose between okay so ano yung mga medyo may connect natin to candles or light mm-hmm. 
ganyan. And then yun, yun yung napili. Yan, yeah, daming singers so, kasi sa show. So, iniisip ko, if like, may climactic na singing part. <laughs> like, diba? Like, si Celeste and si Gigi. Oh, and then si, um, yung isang child singer doon, yung uh, isa sa mga adopted, Amy. Amy. Si Nobleza. is a singer. Diba? So, iniisip ko, yeah. mag- magkakaroon kaya ng singing showdown somewhere dito or may utilize lalo yung voice niya sa show. So, so what, I, I, what I can niya. say this early is that, well, si, si Celeste was not, ano, uh, we weren't casting for someone who can sing for the role. Um, but si ABC, uh, let's probably pick uh, yung pwede niyang kabanter na looks right for the role, has the right energy for the role, but can also sing. Because at the time that we were casting, hindi pa naman buo lahat ng episodes. But we were anticipating, exactly like Jason said, na parang if we can find more scenes where there are more singing, at least ready yung casting namin. So that's why uh, si Amy at saka si, si Lire Posposa, the youngest yeah. girl naman, si C, is also a singer. She came from Tawag ng Tanghalan yata also. And she was also part of Your, your Face Sounds Familiar. Mm-hmm. And she was also part of PBB. Was it Your Face Sounds Familiar? Yes, nag-fa- Your Face after PBB also. Yeah, so yon. So may, may medyo ganon. So yon, yan yung mga like production concerns, mga ano, inaano na, ikinakasa mo na na if ever para at least na imagine natin na if we wanted scenes na there are a lot of singing in the house or ano, may ganun na siya. Actually, maganda yung casting nung, uh, kasi marunong umarte yan, si Lee, tsaka si uh, Wilan. Fan ng PBB 8. <laughs> Galing kasi sila doon. <laughs> so, uh, ako, I haven't seen them before, unfortunately. Even, ako nga, yung si Gigi, only after I saw yung trailer kay Raz and after I watched the first episode, saka ano lang ako pumunta sa YouTube to check out her mm. her concerts. But I've never seen, ang familiar lang talaga ako is, of course, si Celeste and si Gerald. Uh, actually, Jason, I don't know. I I don't know sa PBB kung like how. Uh, pero hindi um, the first time. Kasi si Wilan first like medyo medyo big role in a way mm. na long running yung role. And then for Lee naman, although may mga exposure na rin siya, hindi rin siya ganon ka ano ka experience na parang sobrang sanay na sanay. But uh, part of the struggle always is kind of like finding the right. Uh, the right relationship with them so they can get they, they can get comfortable with the roles that they're playing and yeah mm-hmm. i mean i i get along well with new actors naman eh uh, i siguro hindi kasi ako masyadong intimidating <laughs> so parang uh, i got along well with them naman pero like yung tipong talaga yung mga first takes ng mga yan like parang like they're awkward with their lines they're awkward with that the timing kasi especially mm-hmm. it's comedy diba it's 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 supposed to be light so like the banter yung pasok so a lot of that really, I have some mga BTS videos from from the BTS person eh. Pero makikita mo talaga na literally kailangan ultimo ng yung yung movement na oh tapos papasok ka dito ng ganyan. <laughs> like you really have to act it out sometimes for them to get the right beat. But what's good is hmm. like you know, once they enjoy the process and because it's the first time for a lot of them. Yung parang the thing is, uh, uy parang ang serious na nila and they're finally like wow they were really acting so they're really you know, fully invested into learning. So, nakuha naman, I think. Uh, I'm happy with how the dynamics got built up with with the three and Gigi as the older mm-hmm. sister. Raz, I also have a question regarding the edits process. Kasi you mentioned kanina, di ba, may mga scenes na natanggal yung kay Gerald. Right, For yeah. For this length of episode, how, would, how long do you estimate yung actual footage that you took? Siguro, uh, for the actual footage, you probably could multiply it by two and a half. Siguro multiplier of two and a half because um, we do a lot of coverage. Um, especially for rom-com, no? um, I think that's what people don't... Um, well, they, they wouldn't know naman. Pero actually, with rom-coms, you need more footage to be able to get the right uh, pace and beats. Mm-hmm. No? Kasi... The, the lens through which you'd watch a rom-com is not the more usual the the usual drama eh. para siyang horror na parang for you to get the right tone and pace you need a lot of footage para you can edit around it diba? so like the moments like uh if you see the moments the first time that she, you know she came out in in this beautiful uh dress and and jewelry yung mga ganun, you okay. you take it ng normal diba? you take it the normal pace you take it the normal exchange ganyan and then you would do other shots in order to get the right 
uh, pace. So for that, you, you need a lot of footage. So I would think mga around a multiplier of 2.5. Kasi um, for one scene, I would probably do two or three takes uh, per scene in different shot sizes. And then that doesn't take into account pa if you're doing a retake because of performance. Diba? So pag alimbawa ang performance yung issue, you retake, you do another take of the same shot sizes. Diba? So ilang beses ka nag-retake kay Gerald Anderson? <laughs> On what scene? <laughs> On what scene? <laughs> no, see, see, actually, no, you know, I, I work with, well, actually, because I've worked with Jack now for uh, for a lot of shows already, well, shows and project, projects. Si Jack, the amusement rides, admit mo na. <laughs> si, si Jack, actually, what I like about Jack is that sa sobrang galing nila, the reason why they are, you know, they are the superstars, they're the big leading men or leading ladies, is because talaga, not only are they good in the acting part, they're also good in the technical part. Yan yung mga tipo na alam nila yung camera nila. La, alam na nila na parang tipong sapaw ako, I'm in the middle of crying, pero hindi ako nawawala sa emosyon ko. Napapansin ko na nasasapawan ako nung ka-eksena ko sa shot ko sa camera and they would know how to adjust and find the right camera angle, ganyan. So, not just on the technical part na ganyan, sinasabi ko pa lang like what I'm trying to do, like probably halfway through pa lang, he understands it not only from the perspective of what am I supposed to be doing as a character, but also what I'm trying to get from him as a director, what performance I want. So, pag alimbawang may kina-explain pa lang ako na para mas maging kilig yung scene, napipick up na niya agad na, okay, that wasn't killing enough. So that's Gerald for you. Okay, you can, you can try to convince me pa. <laughs> that she's that scene. How much yung input mo don? Like the, dun sa final look. Sobrang curious ko kasi di ba usually yun yung highlight ng ganong scene. Like yun yun, yun yung turning point means sa ng like for this one yung episode na mas dun na mas starstruck siya. Nado dun yun yung realize na ah ganda niya and I really like her na yung ganon. So how much was your input dun sa final look ni ni uh GG heart ni GG oh. heart yeah for for you're talking about obviously you're talking about like yung when dumating si si Mang Tony oy tahimik and then biglang lumabas si Celeste si uh, Mamita in in full gown and then si GG mm. rin si Heart din pala okay so um with with things like that um all costumes i i need to approve uh, they always run it by me. So, direct what do you like better? And that's already on the set, no? That's on, on when on location you're shooting already. But even prior to that, pegging the looks of all the characters, I also need to approve. So, it's a back and forth thing, no? Your stylist, it comes, uh, they would they would pitch pegs and then I'd say, medyo wag, na, wag ganyan or more of like this look until we all finalize it. And then, when we get to the part of the actual uh, shooting na, meron na silang ipinipresent na mga direct ito or ito. And for that, mm-hmm. si stylist ko went like, direct ko na mas gusto mo, ito or ito. Because it had to be Mamita's dress. It's not mm-hmm. Hart's dress, di ba? So it's not her style. It's not Hart's style, if you notice. And so it has to be a little bit dated because it's Mamita nga. And then, um, when they presented to me the the options, they presented this and it's... Ang, ang, ang word ng stylist, direct kasi parang inisip namin, parang may, medyo Bridgerton. Alam mo yun? Napanood mo ba yun sa Netflix? Gano'n pa sila sa akin. Sa ko, oh yeah, 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 that actually looks... Kasi nga, dapat medyo old. But it, it looks really nice, pero grabe naman yung... Bridgerton, you, you reference. Di ba gano'n ka-old si Mamita, di ba? <laughs> but, but that's what the look was supposed to. Which I thought really, really looked beautiful on, ano. Raz, intentional ba yung, ano, um, going back kay Mamita na she thought na si Hart is si Evelyn, which is yung mom ni Sol. So, in a way, si Sol parang 
may in love sa mom niya. Di ba parang ganun yung undertone ng entire relationship? Incest. Di man incest, exact. <laughs> may dementia naman si Mamita. <laughs> Pero parang ganun, di ba parang may ganong undertone yung entire thing? Kasi iniisip niya na this is her daughter-in-law. And then si Sol naman will fall in love. I mean, eh, iniisip ko syempre will fall in love with Uh, a person who looks exactly like his mom unless may ibang story nga that will come up sa next few episodes. Yung next episode dati ang title ano daw is Oedipus. <laughs> <laughs> Oedipus. Could you be more could you be more obvious? Uh, um um it there um what I can say so, so to to not preempt is intentional yung mirroring of Uh, definitely that parang like obviously the the you look like Eve- or you, mm-hmm. I'm mistaking you for Evelyn uh, but it's not necessarily na parang because he's kind of falling in love with uh, his mother with his mother not uh, like that, obviously um, but later on, it, but it's definitely part of the storytelling na parang so why parang is it yung... mirrored Uh, why is it mirroring? Parang ganyan. Hmm. Yung mag- magre-reata dito, mare-resolve doon niya yung issues niya sa nanay niya na, na iliwan siya. Possibly. Sa, parang ganyan. Ah, okay. Yung nanay mo, inakami. Counting to look forward to. So, how, how was that as a setup for you? I mean, I get varied reactions and in fact, siguro, uh, a way that we can close it up and, and discuss it fi- uh, as a final point. On the one hand, I get a lot of reactions that it's very quick-paced compared mm. to what what you're used to with your local uh, uh, programs or shows or stories. And then when I was asking the ano the writers, so how'd you find it? Para okay naman direct pero um, nakulangan sila sa romance, mm. which because it's a rom-com, they were expecting. So how does that? How, what, what would you say about that? Ako personally, if there is romance kaagat in the first episode, sobrang hindi na believable. I I thought it was fast paced enough. In fact, I wanted nga to get VIP na, de ba? So I could watch the next episode. Because for me, parang eh, you have to balance um something that's believable uh, and making the audience kilig. I thought nga it was a bit fast paced, which is good for a viewer like me. Ayoko nang masyadong matagal kasi yung exposition eh. Right. So, yeah, I think yun yung advantage for the series. Mas ma-flesh out mo pa yung mga yung characterizations nila, motivations ng each yeah. character. Unlike pag movie, di ba? In two hours, dapat mag-away sila and then they'll fall in love at the end. Yeah. Ito, mas right. ma... I mean, na-set up naman siya sa first episode and then there are some things that you would look forward to in succeeding episodes or yes. at least some unanswered questions or plot points na ma-answer sa dulo. So, yeah. And it's fast-paced. That's what I like. Tama si Mel. I also uh, like na hindi agad may romance, which is what I mentioned, di ba, kanina? Na hindi instant yung attraction. Yeah. I mean, there are still some tropes, which I think uh, is always part naman of any rom-com. Di ba? Like, uh, yung meet cute na naanohan siya ng water, ng car, yung um, dead relatives, di ba? That's always part of a, a rom-com okay, naman. I so, I, I, I just want to see how Uh, the characters will deal with this in succeeding episodes. By the way, I also have to point out pala, <laughs> nag-ano ng advocacy, hindi. Kasi yung <laughs> sa ano, hindi, gusto ko lang kasi, di ba Celeste ha, Celeste's character, si Mamita has dementia. Right. And she's actually played that before uh, in one uh, film, yung Cinemalaya film na Mamang. So she played the, uh, the same character, a woman suffering from, or has dementia. So ang gusto ko talaga dito is, Although may may ano naman may message rin na parang in a way yung rich people have can deal with with yung uh, mental health issues kasi 'di ba may scene with yung therapist ni oh, man, ni oh, Gerald man. which I like kasi 'di ba we usually don't have those types of scenes kasi usually mental health sabi oh as long as you pray gagaling ka na yung mga ganang type so I really like that part na at least may therapist din yan tapos pinapakita talaga na there are ways to deal with this na you can talk to therapist and that's normal Uh, especially since yung lola niya is also suffering from from uh, mental health disorder, di ba? So, yun, yun. I really like that uh, that part. Mm-hmm. So, I had to put that in also. I, my bosses would love hearing that because that was actually a, a, a late addition to the to the episode, the, the, the part of like how 
how we can come up with something fresh and different because it is a rom-com after all. And when we say that, you know, rom-coms would always unfold a certain way. Kumbaga, you have expectations of it. And isa yun sa mga hinanap nila, like what's fresh, what's contemporary that we can include in the story. Because also you see that in a lot of, you know, it's it's okay not to be okay, uh, some Korean shows. And so, may consciousness sila na magpasok ng ganyan. And yeah, it's good that you picked up on it because um, that meant na yun nga, we achieved that part at least. And I'm happy it's not Bride for Rent. Honestly, ano, al, ano, nung pinanood yung trailer, I thought it would be very similar dun sa movie nga ni Sian. Kasi parang same setup, di ba? Like, this person has to, dun, at least a Bride for Rent, has to pay for a girl to pretend na sila para ma-okay yeah. with the grandma. So, medyo similar. Pero after the first episode, it's uh, very different. So, different rin yung attack, eh? different yung motivation. So, happy ako dun. <laughs> Kasi akala ko talaga ganun yung magiging ano, di ba? Parang if you watch yung trailer, parang parang napanood ko na to eh. Parang same setup. Pero at least it was different naman pala. And that's always gonna be the challenge now for us eh. Na parang tipong, yun nga eh. May mga nagawa na lahat yan sa totoo lang. Like wala kang pwedeng masabing wala pang hindi pa nagawa. Like somewhere in the mm. world <laughs> nagawa na yan. But then how to make it fresh and not kind of just like reminiscent of something that you've enjoyed. And you'd enjoy it in a different way also. So hopefully we we get to kind of monitor that if we we achieved it for the succeeding episodes also because it's also a, a learning thing for me. No? I'd like to be able to kind of get come out of it with like the learnings also and maybe apply it obviously in in the next things that we'll do. So Yon, any final words? Yes. Sorry. Oh no, John Ray will have the final word. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm looking forward to the next one. Um... Yeah, I mean, I'm not a regular rom-com viewer. Although, I mean, I also do watch sometimes when I have time in K dramas, and sometimes you, the ridiculousness of it all is even worse, right? With some of these K dramas, pero it's still it's still enjoyable to watch. So this one is, I think, I mean, a lot a lot more believable um, so far on the on the first episode, pero like just as engaging, I would say, na to make me want to continue to watch. Wow. Can we just like leave it there? Kasi medyo hindi nag walk out si John Ray. So, <laughs> so, so let, let's, let's relish this. <laughs> no, but that's good. That's really, that's really good to hear. Uh, Jason, Jason, although you, you, you did say naman, but anything else? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I don't have anything else to add. I'm just excited to watch na yung second, especially with the teaser. Medyo ma- mahaba-haba yung teaser, pero I get it kasi nga parang medyo may k-drama feels, di ba? That's how they usually yes. end yung right. episodes nila. Medyo mahaba-haba yung teaser para at least medyo mas alam mo na yung next episode pero papanoorin mo pa rin too. Yeah. Besides, it's a 40-minute episode naman so I'm sure mas marami pang mangyayari aside Actually, from yes, what happens. The length is perfect for me. I like less than an hour episodes eh. So Yay. I think that's also what makes it engaging eh. It doesn't seem boring kapag extended yung yung scenes, di ba? Or hindi ka tumitingin sa watch mo all the time. Yay! All right, so we've we've uh, no, successfully gone through our first <laughs> our first uh, uh, whatever you want to call this. No, but uh, yeah. So thank you for that. Okay, so we're gonna be doing our, our next episode. Let's arrange that, and then we'll talk again soon. So that's it. Okay. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank thanks. you. Bye.